held hostage by your own kid. It's a story your reporters have been following closely. Tonight, a Colorado mom conflicted after her teenage son beat her and threatened the neighbors with a gun. Tori Mason, one of your reporters in Aurora, and Tori, this situation we know turned deadly, ultimately ending the life of that teenager. You're learning, though, that he does have a history of violence. Yes, and based on what the chief heard from victims, he says that suspect could have a propensity for violence. We know at one point there was a protection order issued against him in another state. All in all, the chief says this was tragic for everyone involved. But he is an adult. He definitely made adult decisions on this event. An 18-year-old is dead after holding his mother hostage and firing at police. Chief Todd Chamberlain says it unfolded in less than two hours. And this, without question, was an incredibly dangerous situation. Roommates of the suspect called 911. What kind of weapon does he have? A translator helped communicate. He's hitting the mom right now. He left through the window and she started threatening the neighbors. Based on the call, Chamberlain says the mother was unable to leave. From outside, a negotiator tried to de-escalate via phone and bullhorn. The suspect offered little response. The bear was also used as a rescue vehicle. A short time later, the mother exited the apartment and was retrieved by officers. Within about 30 seconds, our suspect presented himself at the door frame of his apartment and immediately started to fire on our officers. That's when an officer fired several rounds, hitting the suspect. I couldn't imagine what it would be like to lose a son or a daughter in a situation like this. He has a weapon, he has a glove on. But I also couldn't imagine what it would be like to be victimized by your own children to the point to where they're beating you with a handgun. Now, police didn't give us an update on the mother's condition, but we spoke to someone close to the family and they tell us that she's recovering at home. The officer who shot the suspect is on paid administrative leave. Reporting in Aurora, I'm Tori Mason, covering Colorado First. All right, Tori, thank you. Tori, Michael, and Kelly Worthman are your reporters in Aurora. They are part of your reporter team all across our state. Your reporters are also your neighbors living in your communities with their own families, so they too care about what's happening in your neighborhood. So if you have an issue you want your reporter to look into, visit our website, send us an email.